In today's video, we delving into the cutting edge world of construction monitoring using laser scanning technology. Today, I will not only explain the concept of laser scanning for construction monitoring, but also demonstrate the 10 most popular tools and techniques in Leica Second 3D software suitable for analysis applications. From ensuring precision and safety to saving time and resources, laser scanning has become an indispensable tool in the construction industry. So let's dive into the world of laser scanning and see how how it's reshaping the future of construction monitoring. In every construction project, from skyscrapers to family homes, it all begins with the ground working. In the Leica Cyclone 3 dr we have a variety of tools for volume calculation and ground analysis. One of the easiest is the stockpile. This command enables you to compute stockpile volumes by drawing the contour of each one on a cloud. Select point cloud and create stockpile project, define the project parameters, draw stockpile contour. The easiest way to do it when you point cloud colored by slope analysis. Select a method to compute the reference mesh and click the enter button. The software will use a point cloud within the contour to create one surface and points of the contour will be used to create another reference surface. Next, the software will show volumes between two surfaces. The generated surface of the stockpile could be used also for contour extraction. 2D section comparison against the design model, 3D surface comparison with deviation heat maps, or export generated model to other CAD software for additional types of analysis. Following the groundwork phase, the subsequent critical stage involves concrete works. Here, the assessment of floor levelness and flatness is paramount for, to guarantee the quality and performance of the constructed elements. Surface levelness. This command allows you to analyze the levelness of a mesh or a point cloud. Select point cloud and go to surface levelness. Choose Z direction to check the levelness. Uncheck the offset value and then click on preview. Adjust the color scheme. The points of the cloud are colored according to the Z coordinate. You can now see the lowest points in the dark blue and the highest points in the red. This type of analysis also could be recreated with comparison tools. Selecting the 3D model of the floor and adjusting point cloud and comparing them with each other. If you colorize a mesh model, then you could apply on it also the localized values and the gridded inspection tools. Additional information significantly enhances the efficiency of reports. Surface flatness. This command allows you to inspect the flatness of a mesh or a point cloud. An inspection value will be associated with each point of the cloud or vertex according to the local flatness. The calculated inspection value is local, it means that the flatness calculated for each point only consider its neighbors within a maximum distance of half the ruler dimension. Surface slope. This command allows you to inspect the slope of a mesh or a point cloud. An inspection value will be associated with each point of the cloud or vertex according to the angle between the local normal of the surface and the horizontal. Select point cloud, then go to the slope analysis. Set the desired angle as the maximum slope tolerance. In this way, you will check that the entire floor doesn't contain a zone within a slope higher than specified value. Adjust the local normal smoothing cursor and click preview to see the result. In Leica Second 3 dr there are different options for comparison as built against design. The most beneficial is to compare the cloud versus BIM model. In that case, we can get idea of each element that is out of tolerance. To do this, select point cloud and design model together and run the cloud versus BIM. Choose the beam model as a reference object, adjust tolerance and color scheme. When you're using the beam model for the analysis, then you can create BCF nodes via the inspection nodes BCF tool. This command creates or edit nodes either to make a report or export a BCF. A node document, an identified defect. It may contain inspection label, 3D views, photos from the camera device, description and other information. The nodes can be exported to a BCF file, which later can be imported into BIM collaboration platforms. All information will also be used to generate a PDF or CSV report via the report editor. If you would like to clearly see all areas that have out of deviation values, then split the mesh based on the inspection steps. Run the inspection steps tool. Your model will be divided according to color validation threshold. You can then ungroup the selected mesh into many individual segments. For each segment, you can extract the surface area in square meters, the lowest or highest point, 
and the external contour is a polyline. This polyline can be loaded to the total station if you would like to highlight this area for your workers or automated construction machines. PIM Progress Monitoring is a workflow that helps you to identify which parts of a construction site have been built or not by analyzing the coverage of a scan on a BIM model. Select at least one cloud and a BIM object, then launch the command. The full workflow is divided into three different steps – Analyze, Check and Export. At the Analyze stage, Define the coverage threshold depending on the coverage ratio. The parts will be classified as no data, not installed, incomplete or installed. Set the tolerance distance to define the maximum distance to link points and parts. Set the resolution of the inspection and click Compute. On check stage, these steps allow us to verify and edit the analysis manually. The coverage threshold are displayed as a reminder. In the dialog, a result table lists all BIM parts and some associated data such as the coverage score, current status and global offset. Each time a new element is clicked on the table, the 3D views are updated. Press space to change the current element status. The table header columns can be sorted. Optionally filter the visible parts according to the status. Export stage. These steps allows exporting the analysis as a report and BCF files. Set the view, then click Update Report View to define the main view of the report. You have the possibility to export only one summary issue or the full list of issues per status. Exit the comment to validate the workflow. You can now check your report from the report editor to generate a PDF file. Another version of progress monitoring analysis could be cloud versus cloud comparison. This method is useful especially when you don't have any design model and just need to track changes on site. Select two point clouds captured at different periods of time and run the compare cloud versus cloud tool. You can define by yourself which exactly cloud will be colored by inspection. Adjust the color scheme. If you select previous survey for colorization, then you will see elements that were removed from your site. If you select the new surveying for colorization, then the new elements will be highlighted. To detect missing technical holes in your point cloud, you should have a design model or 2D drawing. Select both elements and click Compare Cloud vs Mesh. Choose the point cloud as an object for colorization, because point clouds have points in areas where according to design should be technical holes. Adjust colors to highlight only points related to missing holes, segment point cloud by inspection steps, split point cloud by distance and apply the best fit for all cloud segments. If you would like to extract all parameters for each plane, use the Measure Geometry tool. Measure Geometry – this comment allows you to create labels from geometries and compare values to nominal data. You can enter this comment with any number of geometries, but labels will be only created from the first type of geometry selected. The parameters you see will depend on what geometries you entered the comment with. You can choose to add nominal information about the selected objects. Reference allows you to fill in nominal information by selecting an existing geometry in the 3D scene, otherwise you can fill them out manually. Every parameter can either be displayed or not. You can add the comments and you can also include the current coordinate system name. Beam Clash Detection. This comment detects clashes between surface object and cloud and generates report data. Select meshes, surface features, cut objects or BIM objects and point clouds. Then launch the comment. Set clash detection parameters. Points closer than the tolerance value are considered as a clashes. Cluster distance allows merging nearby clashes into one according to a given distance. Check analyze per sub element to make individual analysis for sub elements that are included in a compound or a BIM object. Otherwise, you can ungroup or group cut elements or edit the BIM objects prior to the comment. After computation, click Reset to modify these settings. Note, previous result will be lost since potential clashes will be different. 
When the computation is done, the user interface guides you to classify potential clashes to create a report. The results will be displayed in a table. Optionally, click Export BCF. A file with one issue per cluster will be created. Custom scripting in Leica Cycle 3 di is a powerful tool that enhances data processing. It improves efficiency of a customization, supports batch processing, facilitates integration, automates complex tasks, enables repeatability and allows for advanced analysis. With scripting, you can create unique tools which will help you to solve your own task. Below you can find some examples. Tags by template. Suitable when you need to extract deviation values according to some rule, template or standard. You can create a set of vertexes in the position where you need to extract this text. Here I'm using sections and planes to generate vertexes in intersection points. To run the script, select all vertexes and point cloud after inspection, then run the script. As a result, you will get tags for particular points. Volume from inspection values. Calculate volumes based on the mesh surface and inspection values. A useful tool when you need to calculate the volume of plastering or floor leveling. Usually it can be done through the cut and fill volume tool, which requires generating surface from the existing cloud and design surface. But via script workflow, you can just place a plane to the desired location, for example, in place of plaster level. Compare cloud versus plane. Select the inspected surface and run the script. It will automatically split the wall by inspection steps, extract the surface area for each segment and multiply it by the dedicated value. Then all values will be summarized and you will get the total volume required for the wall plastering. These were my top 10 favorite tools and approaches in Leica Cyclone 3 dr for construction analysis application. Instead of ranking them by popularity, I categorize them based on the main construction stage, from groundwork to concrete works, installation analysis and so on. Of course, there are many more tools you can utilize in your daily work. If you're eager to learn more, head over to the Leica e-learning platform, where you will find three comprehensive online courses covering various tools within Leica Cyclone 3 dr These courses include detailed workflow descriptions, assessment tests and data samples. Upon completion, you will even receive an official certificate from Leica Jazz Systems. So don't miss out the opportunity to enhance your skills and boost your experience. Explore these courses and let's continue to build a brighter future in construction analysis with Leica Cyclone 3 dr Thanks for watching and see you next time.